Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Hi guys, and Even if welcome sky is back falling. to my channel. So today's video has also been pretty highly requested, and it's a video just on how I use my essential oils in my everyday life. I was first introduced to essential oils. A long time ago my mom got into them for a while and so probably eight or nine years ago i got my first starter kit for christmas from my mom and that was kind of my first experience with oils however i didn't really know how to use them or what to use them for and so I kind of diffuse them every once in a while, but that was about it. Then in college, I started kind of dappling with it a little bit more and maybe diffusing more often or starting to use them in different ways. But in all honesty, I kind of thought the whole idea of it was ridiculous. I did not understand the benefits of oils. I did not think that they worked or worked better in comparison to western medicine or other cleaning products that you would normally find at the store um and so i just didn't use them very much and they honestly just kind of sat around my house it wasn't until this last year that i have really gotten into them and have just noticed what a difference they've made in my life and truly the incredible benefits that come from using them daily with that said i did not start seeing the benefits of oils until i incorporated them into my daily life so the more i use them and the more often i use them the better benefits i saw and now that i truly use them all day every day I can hands down say that they work and that they just, they are amazing and they help support my body in so many ways. So like I said, I got my first starter kit a long time ago and honestly I think I still have some oils from that kit. That's how little I used them over the past several years. But I've also accumulated a lot over the years from my mom or from gifts and things like that. The brand of oils I use is Young Living and I just really appreciate their whole motto and everything that they stand for. Because oils are not regulated by the FDA, they have no regulations basically and they have nothing that they have to put on their bottle. So things that you buy in the store, even if they say it's 100% pure essential oil, they could have anything in there, any fillers or things to make it cheaper to produce and therefore cheaper to purchase. So I really trust Young Living because their whole motto is seed to seal. So they have their own farms and their own plants and they grow those plants and harvest those seeds and plants to make their oils. So they are about as pure as you can get. And honestly, the cost does reflect that, but it's truly the only oils that I feel comfortable enough to put in my body or on my body. And they have such powerful benefits because they are so pure. So there are three different ways that you can use oils and that I use oils in my everyday life. And that is aromatically, which is probably the most common, I think, that people hear about. And that is putting it in the diffuser and diffusing it in your house. Um, topically, so applying it to your skin either directly, like the straight oil directly to your skin, 
or through rollers, which I will show you a bunch of rollers that I use every single day. And the other one is internally, which I don't use very often, but there are some circumstances where I will use them internally and it has amazing benefits. The biggest thing I use oils for is to help support my mood and my mental and emotional health. And while oils do not cure anything or claim to cure anything, they are just a really helpful support for minor emotional and mental things that we experience in our day-to-day -day lives. So my hands down favorite things that I use are my mood rollers. So I have a joy roller and a calm roller and these, I'm not kidding. I, the joy roller I use probably 10 times a day and the calm roller probably four or five times a day. So these are just incredible. And honestly, these rollers are what totally convinced me that oils work. Um, I started using these consistently and I now rely on them. I take them everywhere I go and they are the first thing I grab for if, so for the joy, it's the first thing I grab for if I'm just feeling like I'm in a funk or if I'm super irritable um, or if I just need a pick me up, like just feeling kind of down. The calm roller is what I reach for in situations where I'm super stressed or I'm feeling really nervous about something. Um, this was a lifesaver during grad school with all my papers and presentations and just anything where I had to perform in any way in front of people. This baby was a saving grace. So with my rollers, depending on the roller, I will apply them in different places. But for mood rollers, I typically do it right on my forearms or wrists right here. And then I also roll it behind my ears. I really like it behind my ears because I feel like I can smell it a lot right behind my ears. And then with joy, I usually just roll it right over my heart, kind of under my collarbone as well. And it smells so good. So in this joy roller, it's a blend of orange essential oil, Joy essential oil and frankincense. And honestly, it, it honestly just smells incredible. It's like a kind of a citrusy scent with from the orange, but it's also like slightly floral from the joy. The joy kind of smells a little bit floral. Um, it just smells absolutely incredible and you get the benefits of the smell as well as the therapeutic properties that it has. In my calm roller, which I use in the exact same places as the joy behind my ears, on my wrists, and over my heart, I have stress away, lavender, and peppermint. And it's just a very calming scent. So Stress Away has notes of like lime and vanilla. So when you combine that with the lavender, it's just such a calming scent. It smells amazing. So these are the rollers that I use the most by far, like I said, many, many, many times a day. Um, and they are amazing for emotional support. I also will use some oils for emotional support, just straight up ones that I already shared that are in those. So stress away, just straight on my skin is amazing in really high stress situations. Um, also joy for the same reasons that I use each of those rollers. So those are the two main emotional support oils and blends that I use. There are so many more depending on your need, but I just find that the calm is really helpful for stress and worry and that joy is amazing when I am just kind of feeling down or kind of out of it. Another way I use my oils is for physical benefit. And honestly, these are things that I reach to instead of 
medicine very often. And so I have three rollers that I use all the time. Honestly, rollers are just my absolute favorite way to use oils because I find them so easy, so beneficial, and it allows your oils to go a lot further because there's a carrier oil in here as well. So the three that I use the most often are my tummy roller. So I have pretty terrible digestion. And so this comes with me everywhere I go, just in case. And I will just roll it directly onto my stomach like this. And it is super, super helpful. It smells not the best, honestly. Um, so what's in here is peppermint and digize. Digize is an oil that comes in the starter kit and it does not smell good. And I'll be honest about that, but it is incredible. It is one of the oils that got me to believe that oils work because I do have such terrible digestion. If I have a super upset stomach, I will sometimes apply this directly onto my stomach and it eases it within 10 minutes. And it is honestly amazing and totally made me a believer. Um, but yes, it does not smell amazing. And so in my tummy roller, I do mix it with peppermint because peppermint is also really great for soothing your stomach and it makes it smell a little bit better. But luckily, because it's just rolled on your stomach, you honestly don't smell it that much. So my muscles roller is amazing for anything related to muscle pain. And so I will use it after a workout if I have really sore muscles, um, cramps, anything like that. This is literally a lifesaver and I just roll it wherever I need it. Um, it smells really good. It smells like Icy Hot and that's exactly what it feels like to it. It even has a little bit of that heat in it like Icy Hot does because of the oils that are in it. So Pan Away is kind of known for relieving pain. This is a starter kit oil as well and it's amazing. This smells just like Icy Hot and it's a hot oil and so when you put it on your skin, it kind of has that tingly effect that Icy Hot does. And then I also have peppermint in my muscle roller too, which is also a hot oil. So it feels so good on sore muscles and it's super simple to make and it really, it lasts a really, really long time. And then my last roller for like physical wellness is my immunity roller. This I have been using two times a day for the past couple months with everything going on. It is really just meant to support your immune system and support the cells that build up your immune system. And so I put ImmuPower, which is a super powerful oil. There are only two drops of ImmuPower in this entire roller because this oil is that powerful. And so here's that one. So I have two drops of that in this immunity roller as well as a couple drops of thieves which is kind of the holy grail for immune support wellness cleaning everything i know a lot of people know about thieves and so those are just amazing oils to support the immune system and with this one i roll it on my spine and on the bottom of my feet. So on your bottom of the feet, you have the biggest pores in your body. And so it gets into your bloodstream the quickest. And so when I wake up in the morning and before bed, I will just roll this up and down my spine and on the bottom of my feet just to help support my immune system. I also use oils daily in my skincare products and other like cosmetic ways. So I am in the process actually of kind of changing my hygiene products and my cosmetic products over to non-toxic natural things. And so this is just the beginning of that for me, but I have a couple things that I have made that I swear by. 
They are absolutely incredible and I have seen the benefits, especially in my skin. Um, so one of the products that I made that's probably my favorite is this Glowy Skin Serum. So this is actually a dropper bottle that I had from an old product and I dumped out the product and rinsed it out. So what is in here is a carrier oil and anything on my skin, I use Jehovah oil just because it's a little bit more gentle on the skin and doesn't leave my skin oily, even though it's a straight oil. <laughs> it does not leave my skin oily at all. It keeps it so radiant and so soft. In this dropper, I have a couple drops of several oils that are amazing for skin. Let me just grab them really quick. Um, so these are all the oils that are in that little bottle, which is what makes it so amazing. So a couple of them are in the starter kit. Lavender is amazing just for calming skin. And frankincense are both in the starter kit. Frankincense, honestly, if I had to choose one oil to use on my skin, it would be frankincense. It, first of all, smells amazing, but also it just keeps my skin so soft and so glowy. And I swear by this oil, but it really, all these other oils just really enhance the benefits. Tea tree. This is pretty commonly known for helping with breakouts. And then these two are really helpful with just evening skin tone. And that is patchouli and manuka. So honestly, there are so many different skin blends that you can do. And there are amazing oils in the starter kit that you can make an entire serum out of just what you have in the starter kit, especially with frankincense. It's just amazing. Before I made this serum, actually, um, frankincense, I just used to, in my like normal moisturizer, I would just put one drop of frankincense in that and then spread it on my face. And I noticed a difference in my skin within a week once I started doing that. It's truly, truly amazing. So with this skin serum, this has a dropper here. Um, so I just put maybe about that size in my palms before bed and I just kind of pat it into my face. And when I wake up, my skin is so glowy and so soft and I have just seen amazing benefits from that. And it's all non-toxic, which just makes me feel great. <laughs> and then I also use a roller in my skincare routine. And this is one that I made on my own. I made it with Jehova oil again. Um, I'd like to mention that my normal rollers, like the ones for mood support, joy and calm, and then all my muscle and tummy rollers, I make with grapeseed oil. It's just my favorite one to make with. You can get this big jug for like not that expensive. And it's, it's honestly, it doesn't have any smell and it just works really well for me. But in anything with the skin, I use the Jehovah just because I like how it goes on my skin better and it's just super hydrating. So I use this eyes roller for my under eyes. I have pretty dark under eyes. And so in this roller is frankincense and lemon. So lemon is a natural brightener. And so that's why that is in there. And then frankincense, obviously we've talked about, it's just amazing for skin. And so I will just roll this right under my eyes every night. And it has seemed to work really well. I have definitely noticed that my under eyes are quite a bit brighter and honestly I notice a bigger difference when I get out of the habit of using it. So I do know that it has been working for me. So the last cosmetic type thing that I'll share that I use with oils is this hair growth spray. I know a lot of people call it like mermaid hair. Um, I just call it hairspray. But <laughs> this is new for me. I made this honestly like a month or two ago, not that long ago, but I have noticed a difference in how quickly my hair is growing and how healthy my hair is up at the top right here. I have a lot of little baby 
hairs that haven't grown in forever and like years. And since I've been starting to use this, I have noticed that they are starting to grow. So that is amazing. In this is two oils that I actually don't have with me because I used the last of them for this, which are rosemary and cedarwood. And they are amazing for just stimulating hair growth as well as lavender. So that is what is in here. And then I just filled it with water and then I did put a splash of witch hazel in it because it helps keep the oil and water from separating. But I still do kind of shake it up before I use it. And I just use it when I get out of the shower and I just spray it like here, right along my roots and like crown area. It smells amazing and it's just been really, really great. So those are the main ways that I use my oils daily. One other thing, well actually two, <laughs> two other ways that I really like to use them every single day um, is truly putting them like, like the straight oils directly on my body, depending on what I need that day. And so when I wake up, So Citrus Fresh comes in the starter kit. However, I am out, so I don't have it here. But I will usually use Awaken and a citrus of some kind. Citrus Fresh is probably my favorite. And when I wake up in the morning, I put a drop of each in the palms of my hand and rub them together and just breathe them in. And it smells so good. And the Awaken, a mix with like the citrusy scent is just very uplifting and energizing and i have just found it such a calming way to wake up and such a natural thing to reach for right away in the morning to just help support my body as it wakes up another thing i love to do depending on what type of support i need for that day is to use my head or my hair as a diffuser which sounds Kind of crazy and honestly when i first heard it i heard of someone doing it and i was like that's insane like now we're putting oils on our head um but ever since i started i finally decided to try it one day and ever since i started it i literally do it every single day i get compliments on how i smell and i feel the effects of those oils all day because they're in my hair or they're on my head and so it's just kind of using my head as a diffuser. My favorite, so I love anything citrusy on my head in the morning, again, because it's energizing and uplifting. And especially if I just need some energy for that day, it's incredible. So using lemon or orange or citrus fresh are incredible options. And what I'll do so good um i will just kind of go to the back crown of my head right here and just do a drop i don't like rub it in or anything it does not make my hair oily at all i don't like sit there and rub it in so it honestly just absorbs and it doesn't make my hair oily at all and i will smell it all day long it's absolutely incredible plus because it's put it directly on your body and you're smelling it all day, you also get the therapeutic benefits, which is amazing. So sometimes if I have a really stressful day coming up or something that I'm nervous about, I will do stress away or lavender or something like that on my head as well. And then my favorite way to diffuse on my head is through my hair. And so honestly, abundance is probably my favorite oil to put in my hair but again i have used like the citrus ones or lavender or stress away again depending on what i want but abundance has a really florally smell and so i absolutely love it so i'll just put a couple drops in my hands rub them together and then just pretty much run it through my hair you can smell it all day long so you get to smell amazing and also get the therapeutic benefits as well. I now use oils as my perfume. Like I, I don't wear perfume anymore. I put oils in my hair when I'm constantly rolling them on my body. 
I don't need perfume. I either smell like flowers or citrus <laughs> all, all day, every day. So those are definitely the ways that I use oils most often. I honestly, after a couple months of really using them more often and taking them with me wherever I go and always having them on hand, I'm kind of at a point where I know what to reach for depending on what I need. While I do use my oils truly like all day, every day, I am definitely still in the process of transferring my skincare and my cosmetic products over to non-toxic natural things as well as just like cleaning supplies and things like that. It definitely is kind of a process like building up the supply that I have. I actually have a starter kit coming any day now. Um, because my last starter kit was ordered through my mom, I have not personally gotten my own starter kit yet, like through my account or my name. And so I just ordered another one because it is truly the best way to get oils. So I had a lot of people ask me, like, what if I just want a couple oils? Like, like which ones should I start with? I definitely have some favorites, but the thing is like they all work together so well and different blends work together and that's where I really see the benefits as well as just using them all the time. And by the time, like if I gave you my four favorite oils, by the time you bought those oils, you would almost be to what, to what a starter kit costs. So honestly, just a starter kit is absolutely the best and kind of like the only way to really get going and really start. It's just an incredible deal for the amount of oils that you get. And the oils that come in the starter kit are like the most commonly used oils. So it's absolutely amazing because most of the oils that I would recommend to have, like thieves and frankincense and lavender and stress away and peace and calming and citrus fresh, like those oils are like my top and they're all in the starter kit. So by the time you bought all of those oils, you would be paying as much as you would be to get all 11 oils that are in the starter kit, plus all of the extra things that come in there and a diffuser. So, it really is the best way to go if you are interested in starting, but I hope that this video just showed you a little bit more about how oils can be used in your daily life as well as just the benefits that it has given me when I have incorporated them. I often share a lot of what I'm putting in my diffuser or what I'm putting in my roller or when I'm using my roller on my Instagram. So I will leave my Instagram right here. So I would love to do a giveaway for this video. And because rollers are my favorite way to use oils, I would love to give away three rollers. So all you need to do to enter in this giveaway is comment down below which roller I talked about today that you would benefit the most from right now. So either my Joy or Calm rollers, which are for emotional support, my under eye roller for dark under eyes, my muscle roller for any muscle tension or pain, my immunity roller just to boost your immune system, or my stomach roller to help aid digestion or any stomach pain. Whichever one of those you think would be most beneficial for you right now, drop it down below in the comments and that will automatically enter you into the drawing for a free roller. Also, to get more entries, head over to my Instagram and check out my latest post and tag as many friends as you want in the comments there. For each friend you tag, you will get an extra entry into the drawing for this giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you just a little bit more insight into how you can use oils in your daily life. If you are interested in oils or have more questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me on here or on Instagram. I would love to answer your questions or help you get started with oils. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah.